It's your man DJ Payne One. We are live on location in a grimy alleyway. I got my man Fats, the CEO of Coast to Coast Mixtapes, Coast to Coast Models. I'm just going to say the Coast to Coast Empire. And uh, as you can see, Coast to Coast even owns this microphone. Uh, he actually owns the cameraman who's acting kind of like a dick uh, off screen. I keep him in a closet and only bring him out in time for tour. So basically, <laughs> as I said, you're, you're the CEO of Coast to Coast yeah. Everything. Yeah. And Coast to Coast is in the business of giving independent artists a lot of major opportunities, especially as far as promotional campaigns are concerned. My video series is called, appropriately enough, Promoting Your Music Online. Uh, so the point is to try to share tips with artists. And one thing that I'm not too familiar with, but you're an expert on, is email marketing and compiling databases of fans. Yes. Uh, and we were, we've been on tour for a while, and I recall one evening we had a discussion where you were venting a little bit about uh, email blast list thievery. And it happens to me all the time. I get, I get an email sent from an artist that I've never heard of, yeah. and they have all the email addresses visible, so then my email address gets stolen. There's no unsubscribe option. I got to cuss somebody out. I get cussed out right back, but I don't care because I just don't want to get the email because I want to keep my inbox clean, and it's terrible, and I cry at night every night. So... Your comment was you spent upwards of like a million dollars just to perfect your email marketing scheme. What, what specifically did you have to do in order to create such a comprehensive email marketing system? It's more time spending to build the system, but, um, but the money really it was spent in compiling the actual emails themselves. You know what I mean? And, and doing them in the correct way as to where artists don't understand that you have to pay for an email in one way or another, meaning you need to advertise to get those emails. You can't just take people's email addresses off when people forget to BCC or just buy them off the internet or whatever. You actually have to get people involved with your site, sign up for your site or your social network or whatever you're doing to get those emails. And that is a genuine fan list. What we've done is we have over 200,000 artists in our database because they've submitted songs and they've d worked with us in some way. Um, you know, so obviously we email them opportunities as well. Um, you know what I mean? But we have another close to 500,000 fans that have signed up through the site to get mixtapes or have signed up through the site supporting artists that, that they support on our site. And, um, you know, and sending them things in the proper way when they're opted in properly is uh, real important to us. And of course, websites opting into our list allows us to you know promote people's mixtapes a lot better and a lot harder and getting sites to work with us and getting them on our email blast list in the proper manner um so that we can send a material when it comes out because we've built spent this time and this money building a proper brand where they can expect product from you know what i mean so they don't have a problem with being on the coast to coast list and getting the new mixtapes when they come out but Overall, I think the moral of the story is, and like what I was venting about was just the fact that if you're gonna do it, you have to do it right from the ground up. People might think that Coast to Coast would have a lot more than that from what the business that we're in or whatever, but people who understand what this costs and what it actually takes to make that happen, how many ads you have to put up on Worldstar or buy out Dat Piff or do spend you know hundreds of dollars a day on Google ads to promote your brand to get the people in the correct way. And that's just website advertising, let alone all the physical stuff. So it's like our numbers are real and they're real people who are opting in in real ways, which is the most important thing. So it's just important not to steal emails in any way, shape or form, which is why companies like us come in where we already have spent this time and this money, not only amassing the system that we send it in through our website, everything is automatically generated and all that through our email campaigns API, but the fact that we've spent the time and the money to get the right people in our database so that you don't have to. Or if you can't and you don't have the means to do that in the right professional manner, we can do that for you. And not just us. There's other people who can do it as well. I don't want to feel like this is a, just a coast-to-coast -coast promo. So the artists who don't necessarily have the time and the resources to create one of these comprehensive online systems and may not have the, the money to pay for Google Ads, what are some ways that they can start on a small scale compiling a list of uh, contact information for their fans? I mean, it really comes down to grinding, but... but personal grind go to blogs that you go to and tell them hey i'm a fan of your blog 
I also do music. Would you mind if I send you through some, through some music? You know what I mean? And hit them up first to ask them for permission. And if they do, then send them a track, your hottest track, your dopest shit. Maybe you got a feature or maybe, you know what I mean, you got a dope producer on it. Anything that you can give them and send them some dope artwork to post. You know what I mean? And if you don't can't if you don't have the money to pay for dope artwork, find a intern online, find a person in your 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 city that goes to the art institute and gets you to draw some dope custom stuff like whatever it is just find a way to have some dope presentation and hit them with it and more than likely if you do that like and you know this because you're on a lot of blogs more often than not if you do that in the proper way it gets done but most people are like well i'm gonna spend 10 hours tonight collecting all these bloggers emails and hit them with one spam message i'm gonna cc them in the email so that everybody sees everybody else's emails and then it and then it becomes a fuck fest and then you're that guy that nobody wants to work with and it can be done quick your first impression is everything on the internet a lot of these artists that are kind of bigger or maybe that you would think are big because they're on these websites they'll just have a little gmail list you know what i mean where they just send a gmail email out they bcc in a professional manner to all the people who've already opted into their list you know what i mean and just say hey here's my new project it's attached because they post things from them and i also know uh a lot of people who are performing regularly doing shows um, to have a merchandise table where they're selling CDs but they also collect email addresses from potential fans so that the next time they play a show the fans will be alerted or the next time they release a free project or even a, a project that's for sale they can contact all the people who have met them before and that way the people expect the email because they've physically written their email in on one of these lists so if you're playing shows and you're not gathering data from potential fans you're losing a lot of fans yeah. A lot of fans. Another way and to it, do that is on an iPad nowadays too. How do you do it on the iPad? I'm saying just collect the list on the iPad. It's a little more professional, you know what I mean, than a than a pen and pad. Like nowadays, just somebody you know has an iPad, you know what I mean. Get that thing and just have a nice little, you know, list right there, and just have people type in their emails or whatever. It's definitely like a new way to do it, you know what I mean. Yeah, laptop, whatever it is. Right. I know a group in Minnesota called Big Quarters, and and what they did was really innovative. They created a system for their fans to sign up and pay a monthly fee, and every month those fans would, would uh, receive music from them, exclusive music from them. So it's basically like they were signing up and getting a free EP every single month, mm -hmm. and that, that uh, fee was reoccurring. Do you have any other advice for artists who are trying to compile fan data? The big thing is to connect with people. A lot of people just put things out and think that somebody's going to find it. People are, if it's on iTunes, people are going to find it and buy it. If you put out a project and just send out some mass email to all everybody, that people are going to see it and download it, and that's how you get thousands of hits on Dat Piff or, or Coast to Coast or whatever it is that your mixtapes on or live mixtapes or whatever, any of those sites. It's so important what people don't notice. Every fan has to be earned. You know what I mean? Every fan has to be connected with touched in some way nowadays you can touch them online a lot easier but you have to go through the proper channels like i was talking about earlier it's not going to mysteriously happen that's something that i learned from experience every single person that's involved with your movement whatever that movement is has to be earned in some way or another you know what i mean like your boys that did the mailing list or uh, you know where they sign up and they they have a monthly fee and then they get new things like they're earning those fans by having to put out that new product every single month and they probably had to spend money on artwork and recording recording and mixing and mastering and you know all that kind of stuff it just has to be earned and there's no just shortcut the more time you spend trying to take shortcuts especially with things like this like we're talking about mailing lists compiling that data is so important to start correctly the more time you waste doing it incorrectly is the the it's just going to take that much more time once you finally get your head out of your ass and start doing it correctly it's going to take that much longer but like we said first impressions are everything so it's really almost irreversible we all got here because of hard work and the people that are really doing it in this industry got there from even harder work over a longer period of time so you just got to work hard man and, and do things right watch things like this pay attention to dj pain one follow him on twitter he'll drop game on you like 10 times a day at least at dj pain one at coast to coast mag at Lil Fat C2C, coast to coast mixtapes.com, djpain1.info. And if you're an artist out there who's interested in any of the services, email services and whatnot, marketing, promotion, that Coast to Coast has to offer, check them out at www.coasttocoastmixtapes.com.